Hi, my name is Brendan Weil, and I'm a lean coach here with the Michigan Quality System. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about leadership walks. Leadership walks are actually the fifth element of the lean and daily work model. So first, before we get into the actual standard work for leadership walks, let's talk a little bit about the role of the leader as it relates to lean and daily work, some of the responsibilities that they have. Leaders are here to do a handful of things, core things related to this system. The first is to align improvements so that value flows to the patients in this process. They need to make sure the key visual measures and categories that were identified align both with patients' needs as well as strategies here at University of Michigan. They need to identify the team members necessary to create everyday lean ideas for the problems that are surfaced. They actually go through a system of reviewing those everyday lean ideas, mentoring and coaching the teams as well as individuals through the problem solving uh, that makes that up and that they get directly involved when problems or barriers surface um, faced by the team when they're trying to solve the problems themselves, they get involved to help remove those barriers. So some of the key questions that a leader will ask when they're on their leadership walk. I want you to pay special note to the way these questions are phrased. So here's some examples of those questions. One, what problem are you working on now? Two, what was the last experiment you tried? Three, what happened? Four, what did you learn? Five, what did you plan to try next? The thing you'll notice is that no time is the leader taking ownership or responsibility for solving that problem away from the staff member. They're just asking very open-ended questions directed at helping to coach and mentor them through the problem-solving cycle. So let's walk through the more detailed standard work for what we're recommending make up a leadership walk. Step number one, reviewing the key visual measures, the status of them, as well as any documented problems um, and any progress being made on ideas that are currently present on the Everyday Lean Idea boards. And we'll see a visual of this here shortly. Number two, partner with appropriate team members related to what was just learned and help walk through the process of prioritizing them using an impact effort matrix. Through that evaluation, the team will be able to identify those problems which fit best to solve using an everyday lean idea and which problems are more complicated and should be focused on using an A3. The leader will then move away from that leadership board and spend some time interacting with staff across the department or unit. In doing so, they'll seek to identify leads who are willing to take ownership on creating everyday lean ideas for those problems that they've just evaluated and prioritized. They'll ask follow-up questions and provide feedback to staff on any everyday lean ideas that have been submitted. They'll provide feedback to the team on any immediate actions that they've been working on related to surfaced problems. In other words, they're going to use it as a vehicle to um, communicate progress on things that they've been touching or working on. It'll give the leader an opportunity to practice asking those open-ended questions, which will really focus on developing the frontline staff, front staff scientific problem-solving skills. And then lastly, they're going to learn about additional problems that have been going on during that particular day since the huddle, which is preventing the team from meeting their goals. And while they'll discuss those in real time with the staff, they may also identify the need to actually spend some dedicated time observing a process from end to end to see what they could learn and help support the staff in solving problems related to it. Step number four, the leader will review their notes and update the visual board as appropriate. So any immediate actions that were identified that the leader uh, completed will be updated on the visual board. Any problems which were surfaced on the sticky or post-it notes will be updated with the date and the name of the problem owner and then move to the problem parking lot. From there, they will update the status of any in-progress everyday lean ideas. So on that walk, anything they learn that's relevant will be updated in that everyday lean idea moved through the progress. And then lastly, they'll update any additional communication, announcements, or recognition that they feel is necessary that's not currently present on the board. And then lastly, they'll put their initials on the calendar in relation to the date that they've just completed that leadership walk. 
So let's just kind of move through that system as I just described it, specifically related to how problems will move through that system of being prioritized, assigned to a staff member to work on, and then progress through that everyday lean idea board. So during the team huddles, problems which are surfaced are actually going to be documented on post-it notes and placed in the relative sections in the sections that are relative to the theme of that particular problem. When the leader is now completing that first phase of their leadership walk, they'll be pulling team members, grabbing these problems, and going through a system of talking through them. Questions will be asked related to what is the impact of that particular problem if we solved it. If the impact is high, it will be placed in this quadrant of the matrix, assuming the effort to solve it is low. Any problems that have a high impact, but the effort would be deemed as being high to try to solve it, would be placed in this upper right-hand quadrant. Any problems with low impact, low effort, would be placed in the lower left quadrant. And then finally, any problems that are deemed as having a low impact but a high effort would be placed in the lower white, right quadrant. Now the thing to point out is that any of those problems which fall on this side of the matrix have an opportunity to create everyday lean ideas. Okay, These are going to be the problems which are going to be moved into the problem parking lot and then engage with staff during that leadership walk. Once a staff member has volunteered to work on developing an everyday lean idea for that problem, their name and the date will be written on the post-it note, and the post-it note will remain until such time that an idea has been created, when it will move into the idea section. From there, as it progresses through the experimental phases, it will move through this system and this process. Okay, so that completes the leadership walk element of lean and daily work. As always, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.